Joining us now is uh, South African actor Frank Rotenbach. Uh, Frank, kia ora, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Regular viewers to Shine TV perhaps will recognise you as uh, the face behind the movie Faith Like Potatoes. And for you, I suppose this was your breakthrough movie. This was the big smash hit that really took your career forward. Yeah, it's interesting. It actually, um, you know, when we shot the movie, we didn't know it was going to be a smash hit. We were just making a movie because we thought it was a great story. Um, and it was quite a surprise when it actually turned out to be quite a big hit. Uh, and I think that kind of happened when Sony Pictures in the US picked it up and distributed it worldwide. And, and it really just took off from there. I mean, it is a wonderful story and, uh, well, a story not just of potatoes, but of faith and how uh, faith can survive even in difficult circumstances. Yeah. I, I think for me, what really drew me to the story was, yeah, we have a guy, a regular guy, everybody can relate to struggles, trying to make a living, uh, trying to, you know, make a life for his family and things just go horribly wrong and he struggles then he has this faith experience but what doesn't happen is his life doesn't just magically become better in fact harder things happen to him but it's how he responds to life that changes everything um, and it's really Christ in him that changes everything and a case of very much of life imitating art this being the breakthrough film uh, moving to Hollywood this was going to be your big break you were going to be rich and famous and successful <laughs> How did that work out for you, Frank? It was, it was an interesting story. Um, the day before I shot Faith Like Potatoes, uh, I met Angus for the first time, who the movie's about, mm -hmm. and he looked me in the eye and he just said to me, look, if you're going to play me in a movie, then I think God's going to take you through fire, because I've been through fire. Now, I thought maybe it's going to be a tough shoot, but what it turned out to be was that pretty much a Job experience uh, post the movie was just went through a lot of struggles. Life pretty much burnt down. Um, but I think for me... It's like that saying that Jesus said, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, uh, it can't bear fruit. And I think for me, that's pretty much a similar experience of what I had. It, it, it seems like my life needed to die in order for it to be fruitful. Having had a taste of the limelight, having had a mm. taste of what success and all that goes with that looked like, and perhaps expecting, perhaps even hearing from God that this was the path he had for you, how do you process that type of disappointment in terms of how it impacts your faith? I think it's perspective. Um, like when Jesus was going to Jerusalem in the chapter 10 of the book of Mark, he says to his disciples, we're going to Jerusalem. Now in those days, what it meant was, I'm the religious authority, we're going to Jerusalem, I'm the Christ, I'm the king, I'm gonna take over. The disciples, their expectation is, great, we're gonna go with the new president and we're gonna be his new cabinet. That's all gonna be good. And Jesus goes, I need to reframe that for you a little. I'm gonna be king, but I'm gonna die doing it and then I'm gonna be raised from the dead. And what he's inadvertently saying to them is if it's like this for me, it's gonna be like that for you. And since they're the prototype for us, that's probably gonna be like that for us. And what I mean by that is, is that Paul the Apostle says, everything that used to be to my advantage, I now count rubbish. But now I take hold of that for which Christ took hold of me. And I think in my context, I think it just going through an experience like that makes your faith truer, makes your motiv motivations truer, which doesn't mean that God doesn't want you to be making movies or doing anything like that. It's just that you're doing it for Him as opposed to for yourself. And we don't get to decide whether we're doing it for Him or for ourselves. He gets to decide that. And it's usually in the flames of life that our motivations are revealed. I mean, since that's happened, uh, certainly your career's had its ups and downs and there have been some career successes since that wilderness yeah. period, so of course the Bang Bang Club being an example of that as well. But also, I suppose, the lessons that you've learned in the wilderness, you're able to communicate to people yeah. life after Faith Like Potatoes. This is a tour you've done with Tear Fund mm -hmm. in New Zealand, and mm -hmm. I understand coming up in South Africa as well. Yeah, I'd, I've actually done a tour in New Zealand, did one in Australia, did one in South Africa, and this is now the fourth tour back in New Zealand. Um, and for me, what, what, what happened was uh, post Faith Like Potatoes, there was the Huntsy movie and then there was the Bang Bang Club. I had a wonderful agent going on big auditions, Superman, the whole nine yards. Mm. And that's when it all just you know, went pear-shaped. And I spent three years driving a cab in LA and a lot of time to think. And, and I think that's where a lot of my reframing of what does it mean to be a follower of Christ? What does it mean to, to shine for Him uh, was, was, was literally reframed. Um, and then ended up working as a janitor at my church. Uh, and that's what I've been doing for the last year. Mm. And it's been amazing because, like I said to someone earlier, um, I found my identity in success, and then I found my identity in failure. And God was saying to me, you should find your identity in neither. Yeah. You should find your identity in Him. And so these experiences have really 
it's transformed my heart um, in a way where it doesn't become about you. It becomes about what does God want to do and how can I get involved? Mm. Well, in New Zealand at the moment, telling your story, life after faith like potatoes, of course, in association with a tier fund. And for further details of the tour, tierfund.org.nz. Frank, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it.